Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here from the No Justice, No Peace Report. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for uh, supporting this channel. I'm just giving you some information here um, about the the vaccine, especially the Pfizer vaccine that's coming out. Um, uh, the article that I'm looking at is from the Reuters. I'll put this all in the description box so that you can um, check it out for yourself. And anything else connected, um, I'll put it in there. UK warns people with serious allergies to avoid Pfizer vaccine after two adverse reactions. Of course, UK rolled it out. It's against the UK, EU. EU. EU said they're not looking for fast. They're looking for effective. Shout outs to the EU um, for, you know, making some noise about it, right? Um, so Britain's medicine regulator uh, has advised that people with a history of significant allergies do not get Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine after two people reported adverse reactions on the first day of rollout. Um, these are some of the things that, um, you know, they couldn't tell us. In addition to the fact that... Um, the vaccine doesn't stop you from getting COVID. The vaccine doesn't even stop you from spreading COVID. And, um, you know, the rush to the market, I've raised that concern in previous videos already, and people are ignoring it, and that's fine, but I just want to make sure that I point out, not my word, these are credible news sources, right? Um, starting with the elderly and frontline workers, Br Britain began mass vaccinating its population on Tuesday, part of the global drive that pose one of the biggest logistical challenges right uh let's see here what else is this oh yeah so so pfizer has said people with allergic people with a history of severe adverse allergy rea allergic reactions to vaccines or the candidates ingredients were excluded from their late stage trials you heard that which is reflected in MHRA's emergency pro um, approval protocol. All right. Um, any person with a history of significant allergic reaction to a vaccine, medicine, or food, such as a previous history of anaphylactoid reaction, or those who have been advised to carry an adrenaline auto injector, should not receive the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. It said it also said resuscitation facilities should be available for all vaccinations um that's what they're saying that's what pfizer is saying that's what the doctors are saying right so we see the experiment and how things are are rolling out i'm reading from what the wall street journal right um and what they are saying here so they let me see here COVID-19 vaccines are more react reactogenic than flu vaccine. Okay. Okay, so here it is. Um, Christian Choi, a participant in Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine trial and a nursing professor of the University of California, Los Angeles, said the second shot left her with intense arm pain, chills, nausea, and dizziness that evening. By the next morning, she had a 104.9 degree fever, the worst she has ever had. She took some acetaminophen, which helped her fever. A clinical trial research staffer told her that side effects like hers weren't uncommon. All right, so while Dr. Choi can't be sure she received the vaccine, the trial was double-blinded. She suspects she did and says that she wouldn't have been able to see patients the day after she received the shot. Well, you know, you're getting all the information here, folks, and be informed, like, right? this thing is rushed to the market. We don't have enough information. They're rushing this, they're rushing this. Um, Canada is rolling out. I'll put this in the description box, giving Pfizer um, the, the green light in order to, you know, utilize their vaccine again rushing the technology that pfizer use in order to develop this vaccine is different i think from the astrazeneca or even the um the the moderna vaccine uh the, i think the technology is different and i um so i think those other two companies are going the, the standard way but the 
mRNA um, technology. One um, scientist or one person that I listened to who's an expert in the field said that they've never used the MRA technology in um, the history of vaccine development. I'm just quoting him, um, Dr. Milton Brown. That's what I think he said. Um, but just letting you know, and, um, you know, we shouldn't be in, so scared that we're willing to jeopardize our health. But even if you do, I don't want to hear, um, and I hear Canada saying this, we are not going to make it mandatory, but we're going to restrict you. So, so you're not going to force us, but you're going to force us indirectly. You're not going to come up front with it, but you're going to be indirect with it. Anyways, your boy KP here just giving you some information. So if you have allergies, folks, if you have allergies to my Canadian peeps, if you have allergies, watch out. Watch out for this vaccine. Take care of yourself. Thanks once again for liking. Subscribe, subscribe, share, share, you know, let people know. Be informed, right? I'll do my best to bring you that information. Stay woke and stay red.